Today, we're going to pretend we can play music better than we actually can, make ourselves funkier than we actually are, or create something entirely unexpected with our audio. In its most basic form, slice markers bring the same precision as MIDI note quantized to audio waveforms, but it also allows us to reimagine our musical phrasing. And the best part is that thanks to Reason's legendary time stretch, it sounds amazing. I've got a track I've been working on that needs a bass line. I have a good one in mind, so I'll just go ahead and record it. That was good, but not great. So the first thing I want to do is tighten up my playing. Double-clicking an audio clip will open it up for editing. Reason has already looked at our bass line and added slice markers to the transients, showing us where each note begins. By moving these markers, we're actually moving the audio, adjusting the timing of my playing. To make sure it's super tight, I'll quantize this bass line to 16th notes. Select all the slice markers you want to quantize and then apply quantize in the tool window. Slice markers aren't just for quantizing either. I can change the feel of my recording quite drastically too. For example, if I want a more syncopated groove, I can simply just select some slice markers while holding shift and stretch those slices by grabbing the slice group handle here. Let's move these two. There, that's more like it. Note that this didn't affect other markers in the audio, making sure they stay where they are. However, you can stretch a range of slices proportionally also. I prefer to call this squishy draggy editing. Uh, yeah, you know, Frank, I, I don't know. That term seems a little overly simplistic, right? Okay, smart guy. I like to call this compression rarefaction editing since it mimics the movement of quantum light particles through a polarized screen. Say what now? Exactly. Let's just call it accordion style editing. Once you understand the basics of audio slices, enormous creative possibilities await. For example, we could shuffle both the audio and the MIDI in a single click. <laughs> We could also take this bass part and export it as a rex loop to open up in Dr. Octorex and mess around with the slice edit mode. If you have a great drum track, you can split it at the slice markers and bounce the resulting audio clips to samples, ready to be loaded into Red Drum or Kong. Audio slice markers are all about flexibility. Whether it's the flexibility to perfect your performance, reshape it, or take it in a whole new direction. In fact, you just might find that recording your take is just the start of the creative process.